if you are creating content inside of Evernote, but then are sharing it to anyone, whether they have an Evernote account or not, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Jennifer Majors, and I'm part of the customer success team here at Evernote. And joining me today is the one and only Johanna Alvarado. We are both part of the customer success team, serving customers like you all over the world. Hi, Jen. So excited to be on with you today. Um, thank you for introducing me. I work at Evernote as a customer success manager, primarily for our German speaking market. So shout out to my customers. Herzlich willkommen. Grüezi und hallo to everybody in the German speaking region. I love this so much. You're going to learn so much from her. Let's get started. Johanna is going to be demonstrating these features and workflow in Evernote business, but if you use any version of Evernote, you're going to find these tips and tricks invaluable. Johanna, can you tell us a little bit about why we need to learn this workflow from you today? Yes, definitely. So I will show you a workflow today on how you can share amazing looking content from your Evernote account outside of Evernote, right? So you're using Evernote, you might run into situations where you would like to share to someone who does not have an Evernote account, a person you might not even want to ask to create an Evernote account. We have a solution for this. So I will focus on two different features today. First is the template feature because it allows me to create amazing looking templates on brand. And second is the public sharing feature. So you can share this content that you created to anybody. Jen and I have prepped this example for you. So we had a training with the customer and we put together a note with all the amazing resources for the train from the training to share with the customer. And you can see Jen's email here. She created a link to the public version of the note. So I can just click on that link and open this note from Evernote from anywhere. And you can see we have, um, a really good looking note that's on brand. I have an MP4 that I can open and save right from here. I have live links to download content in here. Um, this looks really good, Johanna. So I love the fact that you can just send an email with a link and it takes you, again, you don't have to be an Evernote user, um, but it just takes you to a browser where you can see all of this content. So how do we create this in Evernote? Yes, let me show you. Okay, so here you can see the same note that I just showed you from the link in the browser, um, right from my Evernote account. As you can see, all the same resources are available in my note in Evernote. And it looks great. Um, but I really want to get into the detail on how I created this note because there's several different steps that make it super efficient. So let Efficiency me know. Efficiency is great. <laughs> yes, let's do it fast and make it look great. It's always a good thing. I like so, it. First off, I created a template. Um, for our workflow, we often um, share these kind of resources after training trainings with the customer. And it's quite some work to put this together. So I created a template. As you can see here, I have a table, right? Super easy. You can add tables from the insert menu up here. Um, and you can modify them, change the name, merge the cells, all the good things. Um, so I created the table, um, the note with the different things that I would like to add um, for this specific customer resource. And once I have created this, I can save this template. So the next time I have the same, um, need the same note, I can just easily create it from a template. So like to that. save the template, click here on the three dots in the upper right hand corner and select save template. This will so save everything you, everything you just showed me, this is gonna be saved, right? Yes, so this node will be saved as a template and I will show you what this looks like. So let's say we have a next training with this customer um, and I want to recall the note. I just click on new note. And as you can see here, I have a template button. This template button takes me to my template gallery. Has two sides. Uh, if you're ever interested, check out the template gallery here on the left. These are pre-made templates that we created for our Evernote users. Definitely worth to check out. 
Um, but for the purpose of this demo, I want to show you my own templates. And you can see here, this is the template I just created a few seconds ago. So to load it, all I have to do is click and boom, my note is loaded. So all I have to do is add my title in here, my customer name, maybe the I feel like this would be great too if you are working, you know, a lot with contractors or if you're just creating the same thing over and over again, this could be again any any industry, any form, anything like that. Yes, definitely. So there is a million different workflows. I have prepped some that I will show you in just a few moments um, for exactly that landscaper uh, workflow that you mentioned, Jen. Um, and so you can see here my empty um, spots and I can easily with drag and drop just move these uh, different resources in, right? So we have the customer logo. I wanted to display it here. Boom, it's in here. I can add an MP4 from the training recording here. Um, I can also modify it. So for example, I wanted to share another additional resource with my customer. I just um, click here, enter a new line mm -hmm. um, for what, what it is. Um, we have a PDF. I was just gonna I call out to your, your box is invisible to us right now, but Johanna's dragging and dropping from her desktop, all of these files and that's how they're getting into the note. And I think this is so easy and efficient to just be able to drag and drop it in there. Yes, certainly. And you see, took me like two minutes to make a really, really great looking note. So once I have finished my note and I'm ready to share it outside of Evernote, I will create my public sharing link. So in order to do this, you click on share in the upper right hand corner. I mean, logically, right, we're trying to share. <laughs> and right here on the top, you see shareable link. Um, it's disabled right now. I enable it. And here I can just copy the link, boom, and now, once I share this link, anybody with this link can view this note from their browser. Um, another cool um, thing about this is that if I make updates to a note, the customer or whoever has the link will also see the current version of the note reflected every time they open the link. So it's very valuable. That's awesome. And so Johanna, if I get this email, like we showed at the very beginning, I get this email with the link. I can forward that right to anybody else on my team and they will be able to view that link as well, correct? Exactly. So anybody with the link can view. That's important to note, right? Maybe this is not something you want to do for everything if it's a confidential information that is in there. Um, if you ever share the link and you're like, I don't want to share this anymore, you can also just break the link. So all you would do is go back to share here um, and disable the link. And as soon as you do that, the link is broken. Um, the person who has the link can no longer access that, that content. And so another key thing is when you break the link, what if you go back again, Johanna, the next day and you say, oh, I want to reshare it. Does that activate the link that was sent in the email? No, it will not. I think it will regenerate a new link. Yes. And that's one of the things that I've learned is when I'm sharing out content, it creates a brand new link. And so we always have to make sure if you are using this workflow that you will have to send out a brand new link to anyone that needs that content. I think this is awesome. This is one of my favorite features. Mine too. It's, it, it's, it's great every time. Um, so I also prepared a different um, kind of sample of the same workflow for a different industry. I know, um, our workflow might be great for you, but maybe it's not really applying for your industry. So for this reason, I brought you another example. Um, and we are working with this fictional, completely made up landscaping um, company. Oops, here, sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. Let me show you here. So same workflow, I created a template and for me, the, the most valuable thing about creating template is that you can create one that fits exactly 100% to your use case. So for the purposes of this demo, I have created one for a fictional landscaping company and I have went ahead and filled it out, right? So they are taking work orders. They need their client name and contact information. They might have different order types that they would need to check. Our checkbox feature is amazing for this. Mm -hmm. um, 
you can add um, a work description here. And then one of my favorite features for this um, is since I am able to update this note, right? Like if I share this link with this customer and the customer wants to have an um, update on the work, every time they open the note, it will be updated. So I have um, added images to this note. So anybody can do this, right? If you have an Evernote account, definitely, definitely download the mobile app and you can take pictures from the mobile app and you can see them here. So I went ahead and took some pictures of the pool area that needed updating from the landscaping company. And you can see those little annotations here. That's another nifty feature that really can take your workflows on the next level. Um, you can do this right from your mobile device. You can annotate an image. Oops, clicked here once too much. Uh, once you click on the image here, you, you will see this little um, pin, uh, pen pop up and you can open it and you can add your annotations to it. This is awesome. So, to me, this is super valuable, especially if you work in construction um, and you or or landscaping or any kind of business um, that fills work orders. You can record the state of your project before you even started the work order and um, add your little comments, right? So that your customer and you are on the same page. Um, and the best part is once you fill this work order, once you work on it, you can add different new images to that node and the customer will be able to keep an eye on the progress. This is great. I do. I know I work with a couple of customers that do use the workflow of adding pictures into their Evernote account. And it's awesome because while there are teams that are out in the field, they're away from the office, the team back in the office is able just to stay up to date on everything that's going on. So it's very, very useful. Yes, definitely. And let me show you another thing here that might be super valuable to you, right? So you filled this work order, you created your template, you, you filled everything out, project is closed. Um, two years later, your customer comes and you're like, mm, I remember this customer, but I don't remember what we did for them. You can use our strong search functionality. Just enter your keyword here and it will bring up that note. If you have more than one work order for this particular company, it will of course bring up all those different notes. Um, but it's not only useful to share with your customer, you will also have the same record that the customer has and can easily recall it with the Evernote's really strong search functionality. This is great, Johanna. Wow. Johanna, you just shared two amazing features public sharing templates. I consider this a dynamic duo. I mean, they're two of my favorite and most used features in Evernote, but you also gave us some bonus features. <laughs> I see you there. It's oh, so awesome. Um, I love the annotation feature and as well as just search. I mean, search is so powerful. Yes, I went a little bit off script there, but I really feel like the multitude of features that we have in Evernote together are really a powerhouse. That's where I drive my value out of Evernote because they play so well together. So if you have any questions for, for Jen and I or the rest of our team, please feel free to reach out at customer success at evernote.com. And next time you log into your Evernote account, go ahead and create your template, customize it, make it on brand and use those public sharing links. That's right. But before you go create those templates, give us a thumbs up. If you learned something, if you found this valuable, we want to hear from you. We have so much more planned and we're excited to share more content just like this coming your way. Until next time, cheers to productivity. Cheers to productivity.